¿Qué tal amigos? It's Jazzy and today we are going to be doing a Selena transformation. Woo! Now this is not going to be with heavy makeup, no foundation, no concealer, none of that. We're just going to be doing some basic makeup, okay? We're just going to get right into it. I'm going to move a little closer to the camera. How you, how you doing? Look, it's my face. So we're going to start off with the matte book. We're just going to go in with this tan color and pat that right under our eye. I like to use my fingers instead of a brush because I feel like I can really get in those corners of my eyes. What I wanted to do was that I just wanted to cover up like the bags and like the darkness. She does not sleep, okay? I'm like, I bet. I sleep during the day and I stay up all night. Yes. Now for my eyeshadow, I couldn't find my favorite brush. The brush I always use for my eyes, so we're just going to use this one, the knockoff one, okay, her cousin. It ain't her, but it's her cousin, so we'll, you know what, we're just going to roll with her. Now we're going to use the same color and pat that right on my eyelid. What's wrong, girl? Why are you making that face? What happened? What's wrong? Ah, uh, we hate to see that. Our favorite color that we use all the time. Once you start seeing that silver at the bottom, honey, that means it's time to get a new palette. I don't care how small it is. I don't want to run out. I don't want to run out. So we're just going to go on to the next color. This other tan color is a little darker than the other one. I don't know what color to call it. Y'all see, y'all have eyes. Okay. And we're going to, I just pat that on my acne on my chin. I don't know why that's the only place I have acne, but we're just going to cover that up. Next, we're going to go in with this brush. And we're just going to use the color that's right next to the last shade that we use in the matte palette. And put that right above our eyelids. Okay. It's a little reddish. It's like this reddish brown. It goes with my skin complexion. So that's the one that I used, honey. <laughs> Next, I have the box of crayons palette, and we're just going to go in with this color called Sugar Plum. It's like a dark purple, and I use this for my eyebrows because whenever I use brown, it like camouflages with my skin, and whenever I use black, it's just way too defined. So, dark purple just works for my eyebrows. It, it's just better. Now, I for my eyebrows, I have hair that like comes out at the top, so I'm going to try my best to cover that because I just want to get this as accurate as possible, the whole Selena look. And I was struggling a little bit. I was using different colors, try to blend it in with my skin tone. And you know, it was just not working, honey. It was just not working. <laughs> As you can see, the struggle is like real, so hold on for a second, y'all. I like some white makeup, and I patted that on there, and use some of the brown shades to try to cover that up. Now, I know a lot of people are getting frustrated. It's like, use concealer, use foundation. Listen, I don't use that on my face, so it's just going to break my face out. It's not going to look cute. I can no longer see that little cut that was coming out of my eyebrows, and honey, it was just a struggle. So next, I'm going to show you guys this eyeshadow shadow palette because it is just a mess. This is like the longest eyeshadow palette that I've owned and I shouldn't be using it on my face, but I am today. And it's like a silver shimmy color. I was going to use the um, silver shimmer color out of the mini controversy palette from, you know, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. But I couldn't find it. I don't know where she went. It, it, you know, that's the con of having a, a mini palette. You, you lose it. But what I'm wearing on my face is an e.l.f. palette. So, yes. Next. 
Next, we're going to use this dark shade, the darkest brown that is in the matte palette. And I'm just going to do that to kind of contour my cheeks. You've seen on Selena, she did the same thing. Next, we're going to go in with the red color and it's going to be our blush. And we're going to put that right above the brown contour. This is what I do. Please try your best not to judge me, okay? <laughs> I'm not a beauty guru. I don't watch too many makeup tutorials. It's not really my thing. I don't like watching makeup tutorials a lot, which is crazy because I'm making a makeup tutorial. I mean, you guys might like it. Next, we're going to go back into like that really dark color and basically I'm going to contour of my nose. And the reason why I'm doing that is because Selena, she has narrow nose bridge than mine. So I wanted to try and get as close to her as possible. Just defending myself here because I know there's just going to be that clown in the comments. I love my Jackson 5 nostrils, as Beyonce would say. Now, this brush wasn't really working out for me, so I eventually just started using my fingers. Sometimes brushes just, just doesn't do the job. It just doesn't get the job done as much as my fingers, okay? That's what she said. Anyways. I uh, I'm kind of just going over my cheeks with the brush. I didn't show you guys my eyeliner because, honey, it was not going good. I was struggling. I wiped it. I had to do my makeup over again yeah that's why i'm reapplying some of my makeup because it got under my eye and i was just about ready to just fire on somebody because i was so frustrated putting on this eyeliner i hate eyeliner oh my gosh now what i'm doing is that i'm kind of fixing my eyeshadow you know making it look neater using the same tan color that i use under my eye and blending it out just to make my eyeshadow look much neater <laughs> Next, we're going to be using this Maybelline Queen Mascara. And of course, we're gonna use that for our eyelash. I don't use faux lashes. I have bad experience with faux lashes. Story time. So like when I was younger, um, that was the first time I had faux lashes and it was for a Halloween costume and it was poking the hell out of the inner corners of my eye. And let's just say I don't ever wanna experience that again. Boom clap sound of my heart the beat goes on and on and on and on and boo clap sound of my nuts and of course we're just gonna take the tip of mascara and go under the eye oh don't don't pump it don't mess up guys girl already feeling herself so next we're going to go on to the lips. Now I'm going to use this dark shade and it's called the Black Orchid by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to use this as the outer layer of my lips. Yes. Vogue. Next, we're going to go in with the Crayon Case Matte Liquid Lipstick. And we're just going to apply that to the rest of our lips. Why am I saying our? It's my lips, okay? My lips to the rest of my lips. It ain't your lips, it's my lips. Oh my 
gosh, honey, you're already starting to look like La Reina. Oh my gosh, yes, pose for yourself, honey. So beautiful, look at you. We gotta sing one of our songs real quick. Okay, let me clear my throat. <coughs> no, me can't imagine. You wouldn't die, baby, but I'll die. You bring that me. Yeah, we're gonna go back over our lips um, with the black orchid, make it pop a little more. It got a little bit disguised under my matte lipstick, so we're just gonna, you know, let her shine a little more. Rue, black orchid, come through, black. Orchid. I'm going to take my tan color once again that I use under my eye. Yeah, now I see why it's running out. Now I see why it's almost gone. Okay, I use her a lot. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be applying that around my lips, under my lips, and also above my lips. Just to make my lips a bit more defined. Just to make it look cleaner, less messy. And of course, eventually I was going to start using my finger again just to blend it out a little bit and we are done with our makeup bye you can get off my video now get out of here no i'm just kidding i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> let me use some of my magic powers ready one a two a three yeah oh my gosh look at her oh for those who don't know i made that wig from scratch yeah i made this wig honey yes i hope you guys enjoyed my video hope you guys enjoyed my crazy tutorial it was not the best because i'm not uh, I, I don't do makeup so <laughs> this is how i always do my selena makeup when i do my lip syncs and sing-alongs and dances and stuff like that make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time have a bitty bitty bomb bomb day bye bye